Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the user coordinate system or the UCS inside of Autodesk Inventor. Now the UCS can be used for many reasons, right? Now for today's case, we are going to be talking about how to use that to just make assembling your components a lot easier. All right, so if you notice, we already have a UCS created for this top part. One thing to note too is that if you're inside an assembly already, you do want to make sure that you create or you edit the part file in order to add the UCS. What I mean by that is that you have to double click on a component or a part and access or create that UCS inside that part. Now you can just go over here to the top under work features, select that UCS. Notice that you do get a quick preview of how it's oriented at the moment and it's also asking for a point. In this case I want to go ahead and create the UCS there. Now a lot of people hit enter at this point right so if you were to hit enter you'd see the UCS disappear and that's going to leave you scratching your head and thinking where did the UCS go right so don't click enter just yet. Notice that it says to specify the direction of the x-axis. In this case I want to go ahead and click on this point because I want to align it horizontal or parallel to this edge. Now again it's asking for the direction of the y-axis right so in this case I can zoom in here a little bit I can go ahead and select this one here and it creates my UCS there. All right so now I can go back to the full assembly mode go under constraint and the last tab is going to be the constraint set right and it's going to be the UCS to UCS constraint. In this case it's asking for the first selection, I can just select that first UCS, select that second UCS, and notice that it places it directly overlapping that other UCS. From here you can just go ahead and hit OK, and that's pretty much it. That's not going to allow the part to rotate because again it's going to be collinear to the previous UCS, right? so that's all it took, just one click and now it's fully constrained. So that's been how to work with the UCS to UCS constraint inside of Autodesk Inventor. Hope that helped.